Good morning, modern steaders. Let's go check on the baby chicks and ducklings and see how they did for their first night in the chicken tractor. There it is, all closed up to keep them warm over the night. How'd they do, Pluto? Huh, how'd they do? Sounds like they did good. They're all out and accounted for. Let it shake down some grain for them. Look at them all. They did awesome. We got the hay right there for them. They needed to cuddle up a little bit and get warm. But I bet you all 54 babies in here cuddled up and all that body heat kept them warm, huh? You guys look good and healthy. What are you doing? We have greenhouse plastic on our chicken tractors and we can use them as brooders like we are right now in the Joel Salatin style chicken tractors. You couldn't do this to them. We're gonna roll up the sides right now because it's gonna get warm out today. It's 60 degrees out right now and it's supposed to get into the mid 80s. So we're gonna roll the sides up so we don't cook those chicks. But then at night we roll them down and it keeps them warm. Now for us, these tractors are just so much more versatile. We can use them to start our chicks in, we can use them to raise our layers in, we can use them to raise our meat birds in, we can use them as greenhouses, we can use them to start our plants in in early springtime, and they're lightweight. How you doing this morning? You don't like to get locked up in New York City, do you? It's like an Easter egg hunt. We want to teach our chicks to scratch and forage for their feed. So we like spreading it out on our grass to teach them that. Mr. Biggs, if we know it's gonna rain out, we'll leave it inside New York City. And we always put some inside here. It teaches them, this is where your food comes from, the land. It's nice and chilly out this morning. Look at the fog in the background. Isn't that so beautiful? 
I got a sweatshirt on right now, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be sweating later on. All right, we better grab the eggs. I need my egg print for this. Let's keep them safe for the rest of the day. Another reason why we really like this style of chicken tractor is last year when we didn't have New York City, I was able to customize some nest boxes to put inside of our chicken tractor and then I was able to walk in comfortably and collect our eggs every day. This is one of the reasons why we like this style chicken tractor over the Joel Salatin style chicken tractor is we can put a roosting pole at a higher height for our birds to go up on and roost at night. We've gotten a few comments lately asking, how do you not run over your chicks when you move in your chicken tractor? Well, the simple answer is this style, you can just look in and see them while you're moving. So if you see any of them getting back there on the sides, you just stop or slow down. With the Joel Salatin style chicken tractor, I didn't like it for that reason. I couldn't see in the back part and see where the chickens were when I was pulling them and I'd run over some of their legs and stuff. We find our style chicken tractor a lot easier for that way. If I see a chicken that's about to get run over or that's not doing too good, I can just slow down and wait for them. You're pulling right from here, so you're just constantly watching and observing your chickens as you're moving them. For ourselves, I find it a lot easier to be able to walk in, get the feed, and get the water. With the Joel Salatin style, you're always lifting up and stretching under and over. For a full-size chicken operation, the Joel Salatin style chicken tractors might be perfect, but for a small backyard chicken grower or for a small homestead, I feel the cattle panel style chicken tractors are a lot more versatile. You can do a lot more things in them than just raise meat birds. And on a small modern homestead, I believe you need to have infrastructure that is multiple use. That's why we love this style chicken tractor. We can use them all the time here at the modern homestead and we never run out of uses for them. We always run out of chicken tractors more than the use for them. Beautiful foggy morning. I don't know if this is a thing or not, but we picked some nice little fresh zucchinis. Got myself an onion here. And we're gonna saute up some onions and zucchinis in a frying pan to go with our steak tonight. That sounds like it might be pretty good. If it's not, we'll know not to do it next time. But we're gonna have so many zucchinis coming in pretty soon. Just hankering for fresh veggies out of the garden. And you know me, I love to experiment. So why not try experimenting with some fresh veggies? So a lot of people commented, don't cut the root off of your onion and you won't cry. So we're gonna try that. We're gonna leave the root on. Let's see if I cry or not. Here it goes.
Guess what? I'm not crying. That trick worked. Thanks, modern steaders. We're not going to use all this onion tonight, but we'll chop it up and we'll put whatever we don't use in the freezer. Still not crying. Let's chop up our little baby zucchinis. I'm thinking these are gonna be good in the frying pan. I could be wrong. If we are, we'll have plenty more to try different dishes on some other night. We'll put a little bit of pink Himalayan salt on there. All that smelling so good, making me hungry. We're all gonna try it. It's a new dish I whipped up tonight. Whipped it up? Whipped it up. And if I don't like it, can I just eat the zucchini? Yep, but you gotta try it. Here, we'll go with the potatoes. The steak's good. You can put more in my I'm not scared. Thank you. Put on it. It is onions, zucchini, garlic, and a little bit of Himalayan salt and it's, butter. Okay, it's either the onion or the garlic that's strong. I think it's the garlic. The garlic, garlic, but it's good for you. The garlic. Strong. It's good for you though. You eat potatoes. If you mix it all with your potatoes, it's really good. Oh, you look like mashed potatoes. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. And the zucchini and onions were pretty darn good tonight. Sauteed up in the frying pan. Did you like them, Olivia? Mm -hmm. They were cute little baby zucchinis. Uh -huh. Oh, they were good. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Love the Acres, a guide to modern home settings, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.